So in this video, we're going to study projectile motion. And what is a projectile? It's just anything that is flying. What does the path of a projectile look like? It looks like a curve. So one example is shooting a bow and arrow. So if you shoot a bow and arrow, it's going to slightly go up a little bit and then come down as gravity is pulling down. Angry Birds is a great example. You, get, you can change the angle that you release it. And when you release it, it's going to go up and then down. Basketball is another example. So you're going to shoot the ball, and it's going to make a curve into the basket. So what causes this shape? It's gravity. Gravity is pulling down on everything on Earth. So what can be a little confusing is when something is going super, super fast that you can't actually see that curve. Well, hunters know all about this. The farther that you're shooting, the more gravity is going to affect your shot. So you're going to have to adjust your sights. If you're shooting really far, you're going to have to aim a little bit higher than you would otherwise because gravity is going to pull it down. In the example of hunting, there's a lot of other factors that are going to affect your shot, as in wind and stuff like that. But... Um, Gravity is what gives everything that art. If you ever shot a bow and arrow and missed the target or missed the deer or whatever you're trying to shoot, your arrow will continue falling until it hits the ground. And so it's going, it might start straight at first, but then it will go down. 